This program is brought to you by Cable Franchise Vs and generous donations from viewers like you. Good evening and welcome back to Byline. This is a public affairs show here at Amherst Media and with the great help and uh, involvement of our Amherst League of Women Voters, we plan programs that we hope will help you understand what's going on in our town government. And today, parking, parking, parking. It's everywhere except exactly where you need it. And one of our guests today, Christine Gray Mullen, has been involved with parking and transportation issues for years and our vice president of the town council Mandy Jo Haneke is with us as well and she's been doing some work in this area so let's just dive right in and talk about the very stimulating and exciting issue <laughs> of parking but before we do that why don't you just take a minute and remind our listeners because uh, your name should be familiar to a lot of people because you've been on a lot of committees in town I, I have. Um, the ones that I've been on that are related to parking would be I was on the Public Works Committee uh, for oh, like six years. I chaired that for some years. There was the Transportation uh, um, Task Force, and that was the group that worked to get the transportation plan that came out in 2015. And then we have the Downtown Parking Working Group, which um, worked with a couple of reports. The latest one came out last fall, the Parking uh, Implementation Strategy. And I'm also chair of the planning board right now. Great. So you've had a lot of experience in town. Yes. And a lot of it has revolved around planning and parking it and transportation. Does. So you've kind of developed oh. a bit of a specialty in that area. <laughs> and uh, Mandy Jo, you've been on the town council now for whole 14 months. Something like that. Yeah, and, uh, it's a by. Actually, you were sworn in December. December. So, so it would make like you 15. about 15 yeah. months already. And so it's going OK, huh? It is. And it is. you're serving as the vice president of the council. I am. And uh, are you at large? I'm at large, at large. And, and I'm currently the chair of the Community Resources Committee. Terrific. Which is up until next week or so is, <laughs> is dealing with parking. <laughs> Very good. So, um, so let's just dive in a little bit here. Tell us about where this latest effort to study and understand what's going on with parking, where did that come from? Um, well, I'll just back up quickly to around 2015 when okay. the transportation plan came out, and that gave recommendations of things to do. Uh, parking was an issue, and there was a parking study done by Nelson Nygaard, and that came out in like 2016. And you know, with that, you have a report full of good stuff to do, and someone has to do it. And committees do help, you know, with mm -hmm. facilitate with the public and and keeping things going. So. Um, a uh, downtown parking working group was formed in 2016. It was supposed to be for a year. That's why it was a working group um, to sort of unpack all the good stuff in that 2016 parking report and feed recommendations to the select board so that they, because they're the keeper of the roads. Um, so it ended up going on until last fall with the completion of another report, the parking, like I said, implementation strategy that was also done by Nelson Nygaard. Um, and that also has a, well, they broke it down into eight goals, and there's uh, lots of good stuff under each one. So that's where we're at right mm -hmm. now. And when you say downtown parking, yeah, so parking is everywhere in yes. town, um, but the downtown parking working group to help it focus was focused on downtown. Did touch some other good townwide issues like the winter parking ban was removed, um, and one of our other big wins was like Park Mobile, which does work wherever there's um, meters around town. Mm -hmm. Because people need to remember there are meters in other places, like we have Mon Olympia Drive, um, and as our villages grow, you know, we want them to grow. We want mm -hmm. stores to be successful and people living there. Um, parking needs will change and, and they'll have to be more parking. So and downtown just focused on that. And the reports mostly focus on downtown. Okay, so uh, as a technologically challenged individual, you said something that caught my attention for a <laughs> second. Mobile? Oh, Park Mobile, that's the... Park Mobile? Ha have you used it? 
Uh, tell me about this. Okay, it's... Um, <laughs> I it's... think I have it on my phone, but I'm not <laughs> sure. Well, you know, technology is changing everything very quickly, yes. and um, some people me. might curse it, right? <laughs> but overall, it does make it easier. There are a lot of benefits to it. Um, Park Mobile is an app you can download on your phone, and right now you could put coins in the meter. You could go to the kiosk, which is also coin or credit card, or those green stickers on there that give you a number, and if you have the app, you put in the number where you are, and you, you've already set yourself up. It's pretty easy, but have a credit card, and then you just pay that way. And the biggest bonuses that I love about it is, so you pull into your space, you can pay without standing in the rain, or the mm -hmm. snow, or the cold, and you can set yourself up. My second favorite thing about it is you're having a great, you know, bit of crack and enjoying everyone and talking, and you're like, uh oh, I gotta get going because <laughs> I'm gonna get a ticket. You can up it right there from your, the coffee shop or the restaurant or whatever, so and add more time. So you can extend your time. Yes. Okay. yes. So those are two huge. So I highly recommend it. And okay. um, we were dubious of how much it would be um, it, it used, but it is. It's exploding. People. It's really even. You know, all ages. Everyone's really liking it. So Terrific. hopefully we'll get some better signage, but. Um, you know, bigger signs so people can more better identify where they're at to use the app. Great. Right. And so um, the recommendations made in this most recent study, yes. they went to town council. The whole report went to town council, and there's a lot to unpack. Okay. It's a big report. There's, it's ambitious, and but it's great stuff. Uh, but just to tag on one more thing, the downtown parking working group, to try to help them, summarized in a memo the top three sort of like where to start, like, yeah, there's all this, but this is where we think do these three things first and then work on the report. Okay, well, let's talk about those three things. What did the council read? So we read the whole report. <laughs> okay, and what? <laughs> we're we're what overwhelmed. Did? <laughs> um, but then we also read the memo with the three, and the council <laughs> forwarded both of those, the whole report and that memo with those three priorities, um, to the Community Resources Committee, which I chaired. And we talked about those priorities. We brought Christine into our meetings. We brought our former Economic Development Director Jeff Kravitz in. Yep. We talked about them, and and those three were to hire a parking czar, as someone might say, a parking person that's yeah. that's that is Does focused on. Does it come on, with a special hat and no, cape? No, unfortunately. Maybe special parking. Oh, maybe, maybe oh parking. no, who knows? wait a minute. Um, there yeah, we go. Someone <laughs> who would focus, because as Christine said, there's like eight large goals and yeah. many strategies under those many. goals yeah. and the working group said we need someone that can just focus on somebody that. can poncho the whole yeah. thing and, yeah and so that came to us and then the the fees we were just talking about paying for parking there is a enterprise fund a fund that mm -hmm. where all those fees go and their recommendation was to dedicate a portion of those fees to the downtown area since pretty much everything in that fund is generated in downtown mm -hmm. and then the third one was to improve signage and and, and just website and communication yeah. and everything so it's easier to know where parking is so the first one's pretty obvious you got to find some money and hire a czar but maybe from that fund of fees yeah. potentially mm -hmm. yes that if, so if, if there was one hired, that, 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 that is probably where the funding would come from and if there was enough you could also do the hat and the cape <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yes. So, so now. And the magic wand. So maybe we can get our yeah. parking guru in place. Yeah. But uh, explain a little bit more about the second one. The fund? The fund. So yeah, w when you pay for parking, um, you pay, you, the town gets the money, yeah. but what does the town do with that money? It puts it in a fund similar to, we have a water fund, we have a sewer fund yeah. when you pay for your water. So how much is that in that fund it. right now? Um, it generates, what was it, about a million a year? Less than and, that. And so does that go into the operating budget at no, this point? No, it's a separate budget. It's okay. a separate it's budget. The transportation it's, it's called fund, the transportation fund called. right now, and okay. it pays for um, improvements to the parking areas. So it okay. paid for the um, improvements to the lot next to Amherst Cinema. Yeah. Um, it pays for our fees for the PVTA that we get assessed okay. from the PVTA. It pays for, we have the bike share program. It pays okay. for those fees. Okay. Um, and percentages of um, em town employees yeah. that work 
with the parking, those parking or transportation. Yes. So, parking okay. enforcement so little people. bits of loss. So there's of not people. a big pile of money, a, t a no, ton it's, of it's money in there. Used. It's getting, yeah, used, getting used. But there's yes. still some room in the fund maybe. Or that you maybe. might be able to shifting if you shift analyze. Around. You'd have okay. to shift and analyze. Prioritizing. Yeah. So okay. we felt that hiring a parking system manager would be the first best thing to pay for from like that fund. Right. And okay. then from there, you start determining you know what it, its priorities and so like anything isn't that yeah. you know every fund that the town yeah. has they have and to signage identify. what's that all about so <laughs> driving into downtown yeah. if you don't know where a parking lot is you can't yeah. find yeah. that parking okay. lot yeah. um you know there's there's public parking up by the old bertucci's there's lots yeah. in that triangle yeah, street lots. area that m people don't even realize nope. is public parking if you yeah. can't find the parking you can't we, utilize we the locals parking. know right, right but visitors do not yeah. so okay. so the signage was to make it easier for visitors to find parking but also consistent our signage is not necessarily consistent with how many hours you can park there they mm. don't look the same okay and so it can be confusing to know how long can i stay yeah. or is this for yeah. permits only or when the permit oh. time ends yeah is it allowed to park there if I don't have a permit when permits end at five? Can someone without a permit come in and just park there mm -hmm. um, to try and better utilize all the parking that we do have? Okay. It's true because people have the assumption that there's no parking because they only, you know, if you're only looking at the core, the, the lots you can see, right, by the cinema or in front of town hall, and they appear full, people are like, oh, there's no parking. But we've done two parking studies, and there's always parking available in the system. You just you just don't know, to where know where they to go. are. Okay. Yeah. So that's why we And you changed. have to be willing to walk a little bit, because it's not that we have this huge downtown. No, we don't. But if you people are so blocks. used to finding a parking space right in front of where yes. you're going, you get spoiled. If you go to places that are much bigger, you know that typically you're going to walk a little ways. Right. And we do break our habits in this town because the students, when they leave, say in May, all of a sudden, for three months, there's a lot of there's parking. A lot. <laughs> we really have no problem parking then. <laughs> and you can park in front of the restaurant. You can park right in the core, and it's really easy, and it's always almost available. And then the students come back, and you're ha all of a sudden, you're like, I can't park in the usual place. I've been parking for months. Yeah. We did try to change the parking, um, the cost and the fees to entice people to go to the edges. So mm -hmm. that's why some lots are 50 cents and mm -hmm. some are a dollar. It's a dollar in the core, right in the most visible places. So it's not only and a all walk, the places but you save a I go, money. it's a dollar. <laughs> Because yeah, you go right to the core. Right well, where you're going. <laughs> can't you help me out a little bit here occasionally? Well, I mean, <laughs> if you can walk a block or two, yeah. it, it depends on where you're going downtown too. If you're yeah. going to town hall, the the live, you know, right in the core, then yes, that is going to. But the edge is really, you know, the Spring Street lot. Um, that is a 50 cent lot right. and usually has more availability and like Mandy was saying if you go to the north end there's usually always parking. Yeah and I, I'm only kidding because it's all <laughs> it's always about the bad weather. That's the thing it's like oh come on it's raining or well, it's the, snowing. The parking management yeah. person wouldn't be able to control that. Yeah, no. There's nothing we can it's do about that. still New England. Okay. Yeah. All right and so you said there's plenty of parking then why is all this conversation about a parking garage? Another parking garage? We have the world's most expensive per space parking garage <laughs> in the history of humankind. Yeah, that was our parking. So we do have a parking garage. It's more like a parking hole, kind of, but <laughs> it is a parking garage. But, um, like, so it's a huge investment to build a parking garage. Yes. You know, it, it could be $10, 15000000 million. It's, it's a lot of money. Um, and you really have to need it so we did not one but two parking studies and there are pinch points so we know at lunchtime uh, like Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday and evenings you, like Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday Sunday um, are full and some lots are maxed out but the system is not maxed out mm -hmm. so that's not enough of a reason to validate the town and, and like we don't have enough capital projects and buildings we need right now, it would just be another one in the queue. Um, and the system, it's not needed now, but if you read the report that came out in just last fall, the consultant does address that 
if our building continues and we get a few more of these buildings that we've gotten downtown and the town becomes more vibrant economically and people living there then yes we will need more parking and and then the parking garage and the developers are realizing this and that's so we have downtown have no parking required for developers there's like an overlay so they don't aren't required but they still know is good businessmen that they have to have a cost benefit and they want their buildings to be successful not empty you know so that puts it a little bit more on them also that they have to solve their problem and I think there are discussions going on right now about the private sector thinking yeah, about I've that. heard some we had uh, our new uh, bid director on uh, mm -hmm. not long ago and that's very high on uh, her list of, is, of yes. priorities and she said she's been to town council and presented their top, I think, five priorities, and that was one of them. Yeah, they did. What was the right. town council's reaction? So we didn't get a lot of talking about it at the time yeah. because we got a, a presentation about a holistic downtown and a lot of projects, one of which was a private development parking garage, so where the money does not come from the town and the town is not building a, quote, publicly owned parking garage. Mm -hmm. It would be considered, if private developers build it, it would be public parking like any parking in Boston or something mm -hmm. has a garage that is right. not Boston owned but is for public pe public parking um, and and so we are getting a plan to have another presentation a little more in depth later this spring um, mm -hmm. on that when they are ready and have some more information about it it's looking like the the developers that are investigating this um, would be looking at putting it or proposing to put it on town-owned land right now where mm -hmm. we, we commonly refer to it as the CVS lot but that large lot has two different owners actually mm -hmm. one the CVS the owners that own the CVS building own a portion of the lot but the town owns a portion of that lot and they're they would be looking for council help in order to be able to develop a private parking garage a privately owned parking so would that be in the nature there. of a long-term lease so it would or probably be a long-term lease that the town council would have to authorize the manager mm -hmm. to, to to sign and mm -hmm. to agree to um, that that was what was presented to us a couple weeks ago in terms of most likely a long-term lease not a sale of the land mm -hmm. but a long-term lease and perhaps at a uh, a lower cost as a, because of the public benefit of adding the additional parking and so but that's a detail to be worked out yes. a policy matter between oh, yes. the council the town manager and the uh, the property developers right. whoever they are that are going to do this yeah um, okay and uh, so the council hasn't taken any votes on that Not at, at all, all at yet. this point no. and um, you probably haven't even had any real we uh, haven't active big discussion no real discussion maybe offline stuff well, the discussions or the, or the comments that were made at the meeting where it was presented were generally favorable of, hey, if a private developer is willing to build a parking garage, mm -hmm. that sounds good to help economic <coughs> development. Most Absolutely. of the comments made were very positive in that direction, recognizing, as Christine was saying, that right now, given the rest of the facilities that we need to take care of in our town, that town money is not really there to build something like this mm -hmm. given a study that said there are pinch points but those pinch points for the foreseeable future are manageable if people are willing to walk a little farther or we restripe lines to create slightly more spaces and things like that okay and so uh, let's go back to the fact that the CRC uh, Community Resources Committee has received this report yes. has reviewed it yes and the next step is so we took those priority recommendations and made our own recommendation on them which said yes we agree with those priority recommendations and we took that back to the council and the council then most of those recommendations if you know a legislative body can't can't do anything with we can't hire a parking right. manager we can't fully direct how you spend the funds in the transportation fund so we said we're going to put it in the town manager's goals and in our financial goals for the okay. year um, to, to look into And that's these. already been done? And that's been adopted, yes, okay. those goals. Now, did you mention there's a public hearing coming up? There is on a slightly different parking issue. Okay. Um, <laughs> on Lincoln Avenue coming up this Monday, so the 9th of March at 6.30 is the public hearing. And 
a number of residents came to the town manager and said we're not happy with what's going on on our street parking wise we think there's a safety issue the town manager looked at it with his staff and has brought a proposal to the town council to modify the parking require the parking restrictions on Lincoln mm -hmm. Avenue all the way from Route 9 okay. Northampton Road all the way up to um, Massachusetts Avenue or Fearing, Fearing Street. So it's the whole length of the Lincoln? The whole length of Lincoln. Okay. And, and the, the proposal is to eliminate parking on the west side, on the side closest to Hadley, 24-7. Um, no parking on that side. And then on the side closest to town, the east side, to limit parking and eliminate it and s prohibit it from 8 to 5 Monday through Friday so that parking on weekends and evenings would be allowed on the street, but parkings during the sort of work hours would not on that side okay. of the street. Okay. And so we have a hearing coming up. <coughs> and to so if you're living in the particular area where you there's no parking anymore at all if this is adopted, can you get a special permit if you're having a big party or a wedding for in your backyard can you go to town hall and get a permit so we don't have any mechanism at town hall for that purpose right now okay. um, there is there have been times where people doing that have notified the police department and mm -hmm. the police department has used its discretion not to ticket individuals with that okay. um, one particular example at least on fearing I think it was was a a wake essentially or a memorial mm -hmm. service for someone at their their house essentially or the okay. house they had lived in and they the police department chose not to ticket the cars that were parking on the street that didn't technically have parking on it for mm -hmm. those instances but there is no mechanism to say if you have no parking eight to five on the street and no parking on the other side for the landscaper to park there for two hours. There's no mechanism to say that person right. couldn't get a ticket. So this is going to be a public hearing, public hearing on, on Monday, Monday the 9th the at 6 30. And then the council does what after that hearing? It has many options. It can continue the hearing if it thinks it should continue and we don't mm -hmm. have enough information. It can close it and then it could vote on the proposal that adopt night that or night. another time? Well, it could technically vote that night. Um, it would have to do a couple things, but it could vote on the proposal, on a modified proposal. It could vote down the proposal to not change mm -hmm. anything. More likely, it will likely refer that proposal, if it closes the hearing, refer the proposal to one of our committees, At which would which not, in point. theory, be the community resources anymore because we just changed It might structures. go to the trans town, town services, services and outreach and is the outreach new one that committee. would be dealing with okay. it if it gets referred to that committee. <clears throat> and then they would review it and come back to the council with a, recommendation with a recommendation based on the public input that they had received. Public input may be going back to, you know, you could do a lot of things once it's in referral. You could get more public input. You could go back to town staff and say, you know, a lot of these issues were brought up. What's mm -hmm. your recommendation on that? Maybe a new proposal or a modified and so if one the, would come. If in, if in the future the town council votes to accept it and implement it, approximately how long after that's voted? Is this um, a number of months because you got to get signs and install them? You have to educate the community? So how long would it take? I mean, you. it would be the council's discretion to set a date for when that would start so okay. I, I would guess that it would not be immediately because you have to have signage so it would right. probably they would the council would probably pick a start date for these these changes will so go it might effect. coincide with the new school year for example simply or because May or June 1 or something yeah. when summer comes or something like that because it takes time to get the signs installed and, and all yeah. yeah okay very good and so um, no more parking and transportation committees for you to sit on? I mean, how's <laughs> we'll life going to be now? <laughs> I mean, I know you're chairing the planning board, and yeah, I know there's some right connection there, but I mean, like, well, I are will you going to be going through withdrawal <laughs> here or something? No, <laughs> um, but we do need a new parking committee. Okay. That was, it wasn't on our list, um, but that we feel, we felt our work was really needed, and there's a lot that we couldn't even get to and like I said it's a lot of this reaches to the town so our hope was that by hiring a parking system manager that then they would sort of be that staff liaison who would facilitate the committee and there would be a parking committee who would continue the work because even this Lincoln thing you know it would not be you all wouldn't be spending so much time on it if there was just 
a system already set up how to handle the neighborhoods mm -hmm. that abut the universities and downtown. Um, you know, my, I'm another abutting neighborhood, and we have some that are signs no parking Monday through Friday, 8 to 5, and then further down the neighborhood, it's no parking 24-7. And again, like, what do you do if you need to have parking? There's no system. So, you know, I think rules are good with parking because then expectations are set, and we can't have that until there's a manager or czar, whatever, who can sort of set these up, and then they'll, it'll be clearer for everyone. And that's part of parking. If you know the rules, you can deal with it better. But if it's vague or confusing, or there's bad weather, Bam. it's hard. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. Okay, and uh, if, if there were another committee, that would not necessarily be a committee of the council. That could be a multi uh, multi-member So uh, I think what panel. Christine is advocating is a, a general town committee, a multiple-member yeah. body in town. Yeah. You know, the, the council could create it, the town manager could create it. It would likely not have counselors on it if mm -hmm. it's a town committee. So has that actually seriously been proposed at this point and it's under consideration? So I hope. Or we haven't gotten there yet. No, it's... Yeah, no, okay. we need the, the manager. Okay. Very good. Well, thank you very, very much. Uh, I never knew there was so much to think about <laughs> with regard to parking. <laughs> um, but so thank you very much for your good work and, yeah. and uh, Mandy Joe for your uh, leadership on the council. And thank yeah. you for watching and join us again uh, very soon. Thank you.